So, what am I to do with this sudden windfall of manner, thanks to those kids? I've got enough to upgrade myself again, and I do want to. But I want to make sure I'm prepared before I do that. My Aunt Queen has been busy. Her little work has finally hashed, and all got to, well, work. I've been mostly spending my income to upgrade her, keeping my total above the point for me to upgrade myself, but not spending it just yet. She can make mages now, which are just bigger and meaner ants. They're not all mages, still need workers, but invader ants are basically a sole problem now. Her workers have been digging into the dirt of the little secret sanctum, as I want my large marble of a core to be beyond the reach of anything strong. Fittingly enough, the ants are hard workers, and progress has been going pretty smoothly. A foot a day might not sound like much, but after a week, it would take adventures with picks and shovels to get to my core. Which makes me more willing to let Delvers into the basement. I even grew a new chest down there too. Nobody's shown sure up to try to get to it yet. My storm is now level 5 and venomous, but I know it's only a matter of time before some strong Delver comes by to clear it out. There's even a magic dagger in the chest, so that's sure to draw Delvers. Also sure to draw Delvers are the new mushroom nodes. With my queen around, I can put new nodes in little other spots around the house for a discount. They're mostly in cabinets and cupboards and such. Just a small patch for the ants to feed from, and for mushrooms to grow. I'm kind of proud of my little ecosystem. Oh hey, Elf Guy's back. Maybe he wants that dagger. I focus in on him as he does a loop around my yard. Dungeon has expanded since last inspection. Crows refuse to shut up. Good crows. Batch of herbs in the backyard, not high level. Burrs upgraded to crows. Ant Hill appears heavily upgraded, but no obvious signs of ants outside. Appears Dungeon prefers to focus on interior at this time. He gathers a bit of herbs from the patch before walking around to my porch and knocking. Hmm, no movement inside after announcing my presence. Ah, so he can sense me shuffling my things around last time. He heads on inside and looks around the main room. Entrance busy with patrols of rats and small spiders. Dungeon not reacting to me this time. Maybe trying to lure me into a false sense of security. Spider spawn in the spandrel is now a minor lair. What? Spandrel? He face palms that to whoever he's talking to. That's what the little room underneath the stairs is called. Speaking of rooms, still no sign of the sanctum or other specialty rooms. He seems to double take as he glances at the stairs to the basement. Lesser chest in the basement behind a level 5 venomous swarm with guardian sign buff. He gives a low whistle. Surprised it spawned a chest down there. Though, last time basement was a clear no-go zone, may have moved past the secret sanctum. <laughs> you wish, off guy. I'm a smart dungeon. He starts to poke from my various containers, pocketing the loot, and getting me a nice bit of mana in the process. Contain the loot above average for level, to be expected with both pack rats and crows. I can sense several small mushroom nodes scattered through the house, so probably leaf cutter ants as well. Dungeon seems to prefer to be cooperative, though not a simple toy box. Rat Swarm upstairs still level 2, most of house still recommended for new adventuring groups. We'll examine basement to investigate a report of orphans having been down there. From this grove, someone has definitely been in here. I should have expected the kids would talk. They seem really excited about those mushrooms, so someone would ask where they got them. I hope those two were able to do their things. They seem like good kids. Elf Guy cautiously descends the stairs, and I make a note to put a rotten floorboard of five there for next time. Confirmed spell spawn mushrooms just past landing in the basement. Guardian spider nest nearby and venomous swarm as well. Dungeon could have easily finished the kids off. His eyes locked to the chest in the back. The chest contains a magical weapon. Permission to retrieve? Acknowledged. Engaging. Oh, he does want the toy. I spend the little manner it takes to alert the swarm and the guardian spider. Tiny, as I like to call my spider bro now. It's definitely bigger than any spider back home could ever dream of getting. About the size of a cat. His aura not only makes the spiders nearby tougher, but also makes them do more damage too. Nothing personal, Elf Guy. But you gotta pay the toll if you want the goodie box. Deliberate pincer maneuver by the spiders. Dungeon definitely could have kept those kids if it wanted. He smiles and pulls his daggers. This is gonna be fun. He decides to engage my scion instead of the swarm first. Probably because with all the webbing around, he wouldn't be able to acrobat around like in the attic. He stares poor tiny, but the little guy seems to be able to take it. He wears one of the elves' feet as the swarm closes in, but that grin of his stares in his face. He kicks Tiny back and Pyrrhus on his stuck heel to unleash those windbays of his at the swarm, and the big mess of webbing. There's too many spiders for him to keep them all away though, and he gets many little bites. 
I can even see the little poison effect floating over his head now. It doesn't seem to have dampened his spirits, though. Even as Tiny jumps onto his back and sinks his fangs. Is he going to leave soon? I kind of like the friendly rivalry we have. I don't want to accidentally kill him. Shadow Blade! Oh, I don't need to worry about that. He seems to melt into shadow before flashes of steel permeate the room. He even kills Tiny. No! My storm is done, too. I wish I still had eyes to glare with at the jerk who killed my Tiny. Oof. Boss encounter finished. Confirm how to use Shadow Blade. Basement is for high-level solo or medium groups. Grabbing loot before Sion respawns. Wait, respawns? I focus on my spider lair, while the elf guy opens the chest to get the coins and dagger, and sure enough, I see a little portrait of Tiny with a timer counting down. I look over at my mana for that fight, and if I had a jaw, I'd need to pick it up off the ground. That's a ton of mana from that fight. Elf guy drinks one of his own potions as he ascends the stairs, and I let him go. I still feel a bit sore about him killing Tiny, but at least the little guy will be back before too long. As the elf reaches for the knob of the door, he pauses and glances back into the room. Don't spend it all in one place. I'd hate to lose a dungeon like this. Wait. Lose? Lose? 